chapter 65. I have let myself be inquired of, not by those who asked. I was found, not by those who sought me. I said, Here I am, here I am, to a nation not calling on my name. I have held out my hands all day long to a stubborn people who walk in a way that is not good, after their own thoughts. The people who provoke me continually to my face, who slaughter in gardens and burn incense on slaughter places of brick, who sit among the burial sites and spend the night in secret places, who eat the flesh of pigs, and the broth of unclean meat is in their pots, who say, Keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am set apart to you. These are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all day. See, it is written before me, I am not silent, but shall repay, and I shall repay into their bosom your crookednesses and the crookedness of your fathers together, said Yahuwah, who burned incense on the mountains and reproached me on the hills, and I shall measure their former work into their bosom. Thus said Yahuwah, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one shall say, Do not destroy it, for there is a blessing in it. So I do, for my servant's sake, not to destroy them all. And I shall bring forth a seed from Yaakov, and from Yahuda an heir of my mountains. And my chosen one shall inherit it, and my servants dwell there. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for herds to lie down, for my people who have sought me. But you are those who forsake Yahuwah, who forget my set-apart mountain, who prepare a table for God, and who fill a drink offering for Minai. And I shall allot you to the sword, and let you all bow down to the slaughter, because I called, and you did not answer. I spoke, and you did not hear, and you did evil before my eyes, and chose that in which I did not delight. Therefore thus said the master Yahuwah, See my servants eat, but you hunger. See my servants drink, but you thirst. See my servants rejoice, but you are put to shame. See my servants sing for joy of heart, but you cry for sorrow of heart and wail for breaking of spirit. And you shall leave your name as a curse to my chosen, for the master Yahuwah shall put you to death and call his servants by another name, so that he who blesses himself in the earth does bless himself in the Elohim of truth, and he who swears in the earth does swear by the Elohim of truth, because the former distresses shall be forgotten, and because they shall be hidden from my eyes. For look, I am creating new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come to heart. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I create. For look, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I shall rejoice in Jerusalem, and shall joy in my people, and let the voice of weeping no more be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. No more is an infant from there going to live but a few days, nor an old man who does not complete his days, for the youth dies one hundred years old. But the sinner being esteemed one hundred years shall be lightly esteemed, and they shall build houses, and inhabit them, and plant vineyards, and eat their fruit. They shall not build, and another inhabit. They shall not plant, and another eat. For the days of my people are going to be as the days of a tree." and my chosen ones outlive the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth children for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of Yahuwah, and their offspring with them. And it shall be that before they call, I answer, and while they are still speaking, I hear. Wolf and lamb feed together, a lion eats straw as an ox, and dust is the snake's food. They shall do no evil, nor destroy in all my set-apart mountain, said Yahuwah. Chapter 66 Thus said Yahuwah, The heavens are my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is this house that you build for me, and where is this place of my rest? 
and all these my hand has made, and all these that exist, declares Yahuwah. Yet to such a one I look, on him who is poor and bruised of spirit, and who trembles at my word. But whoever slays the bull strikes a man, whoever slaughters the lamb breaks a dog's neck, whoever brings a grain offering pig's blood, whoever burns incense blesses an idol. Indeed, they have chosen their own ways, and their being delights in their abominations. I shall also choose their punishments and bring their fears on them. Because I called, but no one answered. I spoke, and they did not hear. And they did evil before my eyes and chose what was displeasing to me. Hear the word of Yahuwah, you who tremble at his word. Your brothers who hate you, who cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let Yahuwah be esteemed, so that we see your joy. But they are put to a shame. A roaring sound from the city, a voice from the Hakal, the voice of Yahuwah repaying his enemies. Before she labored, she gave birth. Before a pain came to her, she was delivered of a male. Who has heard the like of this? Who has seen the like of these? Is a land brought forth in one day? Is a nation born at once? For as soon as Zion labored, she gave birth to her children. Shall I bring to birth and not give delivery? Says Yahuwah. Shall I who give delivery restrain birth? Said your Elohim. Rejoiced with Yerushalayim and be glad with her. All you who love her, rejoice greatly with her, all you who mourn for her, so that you feed, and shall be satisfied with the breast of her comforts, so that you drink deeply, and shall delight yourselves in her overflowing esteem. For thus said Yahuwah, See, I am extending peace to her like a river, and the esteem of the nations like a flowing stream. And you shall feed, and you shall be carried on the side and fondled on her knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so I comfort you. And in Jerusalem you are comforted. And you shall see, and your heart shall rejoice, and your bones flourish as tender grass. And the hand of Yahuwah shall be known to his servants, and his displeasure to his enemies. For look, Yahuwah comes with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his displeasure with burning, and his rebukes with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword Yahuwah shall judge all flesh, and the slain of Yahuwah shall be many. Those who set themselves apart and cleanse themselves at the gardens after one in the midst, eating flesh of pigs and the abomination and the mouse, are snatched away together, declares Yahuwah. And I, because of their works and their imaginations, am coming to gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my esteem. And I shall set a sign among them, and shall send some of those who escape to the nations, Tarshish, and Pool, and Lud, who draw the bow, and Tubal, and Yawan, the coastlands afar off, who have not heard my report, nor seen my esteem. And they shall declare my esteem among the nations. And they shall bring all your brothers as an offering to Yahuwah out of all the nations on horses and in chariots and in litters, on mules and on camels to my set-apart mountain, Yerushalayim, declares Yahuwah. As the children of Yisrael bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of Yahuwah. And from them too I shall take for priests, for Levites, declares Yahuwah. For as the new heavens and the new earth that I make stand before me, declares Yahuwah, so your seed and your name shall stand. And it shall be that from new moon to new moon, and from Sabbath to Sabbath, all flesh shall come to worship before me, declares Yahuwah. And they shall go forth and look upon the corpses of the men who have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, and their fire not be quenched, and they shall be repulsive to all flesh. The Book of Jeremiah Yermiyahu Chapter 1 The words of Yermiyahu, 
the son of Hilkiyahu, of the priests who were in Anathoth, in the land of Binyamin, to whom the word of Yahuwah came in the days of Yoshiahu, son of Ammon, sovereign of Yehuda, in the thirteenth year of his reign. And it came to be in the days of Yehoiakim, son of Yoshiahu, sovereign of Yehuda, until the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, son of Yoshiahu, sovereign of Yehuda, until the exile of Jerusalem in the fifth new moon. Now the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you, and before you came out of the womb, I did set you apart. I appointed you a prophet to nations. And said I, Ah, oh, Master Yahuwah, see, I do not know how to speak, for I am a youth. And Yahuwah said to me, Do not say I am a youth. But go to all to whom I send you, and speak whatever I command you. Do not fear their faces, for I am with you, to deliver you, declares Yahuwah. Then Yahuwah put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And Yahuwah said to me, See, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations, and over the rains to root out, and to pull down, to destroy, and to overthrow, to build and to plant. And the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, What do you see, Yermiyahu? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. And Yahuwah said to me, You have seen well, for I am watching over my word to do it. And the word of Yahuwah came to me a second time, saying, What do you see? And I said, I see a boiling pot, and it is facing away from the north. And Yahuwah said to me, Out of the north evil is set loose on all the inhabitants of the land. For look, I am calling all the clans of the reigns of the north, declares Yahuwah, and they shall come, and each one set his throne at the entrance of the gates of Jerusalem, against all its walls all around, and against all the cities of Yehuda. And I shall pronounce my judgments against them concerning all their evil, because they have forsaken me burned incense to other mighty ones, and bowed themselves to the works of their own hands. Now, gird up your loins, and arise, and speak to them all that I command you. Do not break down before their faces, lest I break you before them. For look, I have made you this day a walled city, and an iron column, and bronze walls against all the land, against the sovereigns of Yehuda, against her heads, against her priests, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against you, but not prevail against you. For I am with you, declares Yahuwah, to deliver you. Chapter 2 And the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, Go, and you shall cry in the hearing of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said Yahuwah, I remember you, the loving commitment of your youth, the love of your bridehood, when you went after me in the wilderness, in a land that was not sown. Yisrael was set apart to Yahuwah, the first fruits of his increase. All who ate of it became guilty, evil came upon them, declares Yahuwah. Hear the word of Yahuwah, O house of Jacob, and all the clans of the house of Yisrael. Thus said Yahuwah, What unrighteousness have your fathers found in me, that they have gone far from me, and went after worthlessness, and became worthless? And did they not say, Where is Yahuwah, who brought us up out of the land of Mitzrayim, who led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and pits, through a land of drought and the shadow of death, a land that no one passed through, and where no one dwelt? Then I brought you into a garden land, to eat its fruit and its goodness. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my inheritance an abomination. The priests did not say, Where is Yahuwah? And those who handle the Torah did not know me. And the shepherds transgressed against me, and the prophets prophesied by Baal, and walked after matters that did not profit. Therefore I still contend with you, declares Yahuwah, And with your children's children I contend. For pass beyond the isles of Ketim, and see, and send to Kedar, and observe well, and see if there has been any like this. Has a nation changed its mighty ones, which are non-mighty ones? 
but my people have changed my esteem for that which does not profit. Be amazed, O heavens, at this, and be frightened, be utterly dried up, declares Yahuwah. For my people have done two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, to hew out for themselves cisterns, cracked cisterns, which do not hold water. Is Yisrael a servant? Was he born in the house? Why is he given to plunder? The young lions roared at him. They growled and made his land waste. His cities have been burned without inhabitant. Even the sons of Noph and Tafanes have shaven the crown of your head. Have you not done this to yourself by forsaking Yahuwah your Elohim when he led you in the way? And now, why take the way to Mitzrayim to drink the waters of Shihor? Or why take the way to Asher to drink the waters of the river? Your own evil instructs you, and your backslidings reprove you. Know, therefore, and see that it is evil and bitter that you have forsaken Yahuwah your Elohim, and that my fear is not in you declares the master Yahuwah of hosts. For of old I have broken your yoke and torn off your chastisements. And you said, I am not serving you. When on every high hill and under every green tree you laid down like a whore. Yet I had planted you a choice vine, all of it a true seed. How then have you turned before me into the degenerate plant of a strange vine? Although you wash yourself with lye and use much soap, yet your crookedness is ingrained before me, declares the Master Yahuwah. How do you say, I am not defiled? I have not gone after the Baals. See your way in the valley? Know what you have done. A swift dromedary breaking loose in her ways, a wild donkey used to the wilderness, sniffing the wind in the desire of her being, in her time of mating. Who turns her away? All those who seek her need not weary themselves in her month. They find her. Keep your foot from being bare and your throat from thirst. But you said, It is useless, because I love strangers and after them I go. As the thief is ashamed when he is found out, so is the house of Yisrael ashamed. They and their sovereigns and their heads and their priests and their prophets saying to a tree, you are my father, and to a stone you gave birth to me, for they have turned their back to me, and not their face. But in time of their calamity they say, Arise, save us. But where are your mighty ones that you have made for yourselves? Let them arise, see if they save you in the time of your calamity, because your mighty ones have become as many as your cities, O Yehuda. Why do you complain to me? You all have transgressed against me, declares Yahuwah. In vain I have stricken your children. They received no instruction. Your sword has devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. O oh, generation, see the word of Yahuwah. Have I been a wilderness to Yisrael or a land of darkness? Why do my people say, We have broken loose? We come to you no more? Would a maiden forget her ornaments or a bride her headband? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. Why do you embellish your way to seek love? Therefore you have even taught the evil women your ways. Even on the corners of your clothing is found the blood of the lives of the poor innocents. You did not find them breaking in. But in spite of all these, you say, Because I am innocent, Certainly his displeasure shall turn from me. See, I shall bring judgment on you, because you say, I have not sinned. Why do you go about so much to change your way? Even of Mitzrayim, you are to be ashamed, as you are ashamed of Asher. Even from this one, you shall go forth with your hands on your head. For Yahuwah has rejected those you trust, and you shall not prosper by them. Chapter 3 Elohim said, If a man puts away his wife, and she goes from him and becomes another man's, does he return to her again? Would not that land be made greatly unclean? But you have committed whoring with many lovers. And would you return to me, declares Yahuwah? 
Lift up your eyes to the bare heights and see, where have you not lain with men? Beside the ways you have sat for them like an Arabian in the wilderness, and you made the land unclean with your whorings and your evil. Therefore the showers have been withheld, and there has been no latter rain. You have had a whore's forehead. You refuse to be ashamed. Shall you not from now on cry to me? My father, you are the guide of my youth. Does one bear a grudge forever? Does one keep it to the end? See, you have spoken and done the evils that you could. And Yahuwah said to me in the days of Yoshiyahu the sovereign, Have you seen what backsliding Israel has done? She has gone up on every high mountain and under every green tree, and there committed whoring. And after she had done all this, I said, Return to me. But she did not return, and her treacherous sister Yehuda saw it. And I saw that for all the causes for which backsliding Yisrael had committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a certificate of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Yehuda did not fear, but went and committed whoring too. And it came to be through her frivolous whoring that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and wood. And yet for all this her treacherous sister Yehuda has not turned to me with all her heart, but falsely, declares Yahuwah. And Yahuwah said to me, Backsliding Yisrael has shown herself more righteous than treacherous Yehuda. Go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, Return, O backsliding Israel, declares Yahuwah. I shall not look on you in displeasure, for I am lovingly committed, declares Yahuwah, and I do not bear a grudge forever. Only acknowledge your crookedness, because you have transgressed against Yahuwah your Elohim, and have scattered your ways to strangers under every green tree, and you have not obeyed my voice declares Yahuwah. Return, O backsliding children, declares Yahuwah, for I shall rule over you and shall take you, one from a city and two from a clan, and shall bring you to Zion. And I shall give you shepherds according to my heart, and they shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And it shall be when you have increased and shall be fruitful in the land in those days, declares Yahuwah, that they no longer say, The Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah. Neither would it come to heart, nor would they remember it, nor would they visit it, nor would it be made again. At that time, Jerusalem shall be called the throne of Yahuwah, and all the nations shall be gathered to it, to the name of Yahuwah, to Jerusalem, and no longer walk after the stubbornness of their evil heart. In those days, the house of Yehuda shall go to the house of Yisrael, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given as an inheritance to your fathers. But I said, How would I put you among the children and give you a pleasant land, a splendid inheritance of the hosts of nations? And I said, Call me my father, and do not turn away from me. But indeed, as a wife betrays her husband, so you have betrayed me, O house of Israel, declares Yahuwah. A voice was heard on the bare heights, weeping, supplications of the children of Yisrael, because they have perverted their way. They have forgotten Yahuwah their Elohim. Return, O backsliding children. I shall make your backsliding cease. See, we have come to you, for you are Yahuwah our Elohim. Truly, delusion comes from the high hills, the noisy throng on the mountains. Truly, in Yahuwah our Elohim is the deliverance of Yisrael. For shame has devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth, their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. We shall lie down in our shame while our reproach covers us. For we have sinned against Yahuwah our Elohim, we and our fathers from our youth even to this day, and have not obeyed the voice of Yahuwah, our Elohim. Chapter 4 If you do return, O Yisrael, declares Yahuwah, return to me, and if you remove your abominations from my presence and cease straying, and shall swear, as Yahuwah lives, in truth, in right ruling and in righteousness, then nations shall bless themselves in him, 
and they shall boast in him. For this is what Yahuwah said to the men of Yehuda and Jerusalem: Break up your tillable ground, and do not sow among thorns. Circumcise yourselves unto Yahuwah, and take away the foreskins of your hearts, you men of Yehuda, and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my wrath come forth like fire and burn, with none to quench it, because of the evil of your deeds. Declare in Yehuda, and let it be heard in Jerusalem, and say, Blow a shofar in the land. Cry aloud, and say, Gather yourselves, and let us go into the walled city. Lift up the banner toward Zion. Be strong, do not stand still, for I am bringing evil from the north and great destruction. A lion has come up from his bush, and the destroyer of nations is on his way. He has set out from his place to make your land a ruin. Your cities are laid waste without inhabitant. For this, gird yourself with sackcloth, lament and wail. For the burning displeasure of Yahuwah has not turned back from us. And in that day it shall be, declares Yahuwah, that the heart of the sovereign shall perish and the heart of the heads. And the priests shall be astonished and the prophets wonder. Then I said, Ah, Master Yahuwah! Truly you have greatly deceived this people in Jerusalem, saying, Peace is for you, whereas the sword reaches to the heart. At that time it shall be said to this people and to Jerusalem, A scorching wind of the bare heights blows in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not to fan or to cleanse. A wind too strong for this shall come for me. Now it is I who speak judgments against them. See, he who comes like clouds, and his chariots like a whirlwind. His horses shall be swifter than eagles. Woe to us, for we shall be ravaged. O Jerusalem, wash your hands from evil and be saved. Till when would your wicked thoughts remain within you? For a voice is declaring from Dan, and is proclaiming trouble from Mount Ephraim. Announce to the nations, look. Proclaim against Jerusalem that besiegers are coming from a distant land and raise their voice against the cities of Yehuda. Like keepers of a field, they are against her all around because she has rebelled against me, declares Yahuwah. Your ways and your deeds have brought this upon you. This is your evil because it is bitter, because it has reached into your heart. Oh, my inward parts, my inward parts, I am in pain. Oh, the walls of my heart, my heart pounds in me, I am not silent. For you have heard, O oh my being, a voice of a shofar, a shout of battle. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for all the land is ravaged. Suddenly my tents are ravaged, my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see a banner and hear a voice of a shofar? For my people are foolish, they have not known me. They are stupid children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. I looked at the earth and saw it was formless and empty, and the heavens had no light. I looked at the mountains and saw they shook, and all the hills were swaying. I looked and saw there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens had fled. I looked and saw the garden land was a wilderness, and all its cities were broken down at the presence of Yahuwah by his burning displeasure. For thus said Yahuwah, All the earth shall be a ruin, but I shall not make a complete end. On account of this, let the earth mourn and the heavens above be dark, because I have spoken, because I have purposed and shall not relent, nor do I turn back from it. All the city is fleeing from the noise of the horsemen and bowmen, they shall go into bushes and climb up on the rocks. All the city is forsaken, and no one is dwelling in it. And when you are ravaged, what would you do? Though you put on crimson, though you adorn yourself with ornaments of gold, though you enlarge your eyes with paint, you beautify yourself in vain. Your lovers despise you, they seek your life. For I have heard a voice as of a woman in labor the distress as of her who brings forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion. She bewails herself. She spreads out her hand, saying, Woe to me, for my being faints because of killers. Chapter 5 
diligently search the streets of Jerusalem, and please look and know and seek in her open places if you find a man, if there is anyone doing right ruling, seeking the truth, then I shall pardon her. Even when they say, As Yahuwah lives, they swear falsely for certain. O oh, Yahuwah, are your eyes not on truth? You have stricken them, but they have not grieved. You have consumed them, but they have refused to receive instruction. They made their faces stronger than rock. They refused to turn back. Then I said, These are only the poor. They have been foolish, for they have not known the way of Yahuwah, the right ruling of their Elohim. Let me go to the great men and speak to them, for they have known the way of Yahuwah, the right ruling of their Elohim. But these have altogether broken the yoke and torn off the bonds. Therefore a lion from the forest shall strike them, a wolf of the desert ravage them. A leopard is watching over their cities. Whoever comes out of them is torn in pieces, for their transgressions have been many. Their backslidings have been numerous. Why should I pardon you for this? Your children have forsaken me and sworn by those that are not mighty ones. When I had filled them up, they then committed adultery, and they thronged to the house of a whore. They were like well-fed horses, every one neighed after his neighbor's wife. Why would I not punish them for this, declares Yahuwah, and would I not avenge my being on such a nation as this? Go up on her walls and destroy, but do not make a complete end. Take away her branches, for they do not belong to Yahuwah. For the house of Yisrael and the house of Yehuda have utterly betrayed me, declares Yahuwah. They have been untrue to Yahuwah and said, It is not he. No evil comes upon us, nor do we see sword or scarcity of food. And the prophets have become wind, and the word is not in them. Thus shall be done to them. Therefore thus said Yahuwah Elohim of hosts, Because you speak this word, see, I am making my words in your mouth, fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. See, I am bringing a nation against you from afar, O house of Israel, declares Yahuwah. It is an enduring nation. It is an ancient nation, a nation whose language you do not know, nor do you understand what they say. Their quiver is like an open burial site. All of them are mighty men." and they shall eat up your harvest and your bread, which your sons and daughters should eat. They shall eat up your flocks and your herds. They shall eat up your vines and your fig trees. With the sword they shall demolish your walled cities, in which you are trusting. But even in those days, declares Yahuwah, I shall not make a complete end of you. And it shall be when they say, Why does Yahuwah our Elohim do all this to us? Then you shall answer them, as you have forsaken me and served foreign mighty ones in your land, so you shall serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Declare this in the house of Yaakov and proclaim it in Yehuda, saying, Hear this now, O foolish people without heart, who have eyes and see not and who have ears and hear not. Do you not fear me, declares Yahuwah? Do you not tremble at my presence, who have placed the sand as the boundary of the sea? by an everlasting law, and it does not pass over it. Though its waves toss to and fro, they are not able. Though they roar, they do not pass over it. But this people has a backsliding and rebellious heart. They have turned aside and gone astray, and they do not say in their heart, Let us now fear Yahuwah our Elohim, who gives rain both the former and latter in its season. He guards for us the required by-law, weeks of the harvest. Your crookednesses have turned these away, and your sins have kept the good from you. For among my people are found wrong men who lie in wait as one who sets snares. They have set up a trap. They catch men as a cage filled with birds. So their houses are filled with deceit. Therefore they have become great and grown rich. They have become fat. They are sleek. They also overlook the deeds of the wrong. They did not rightly rule the cause of the fatherless, so that they prosper, and the right of the needy, they did not rightly rule. Would I not punish them for this, declares Yahuwah? Would I not revenge myself on such a nation as this? 
An astounding and horrible matter has come to the land. A people have prophesied falsely, and the priests rule by their own hand. And my people have loved it so. And what are you going to do at the end of it? Chapter 6 O children of Benjamin, gather yourselves to flee out of the midst of Jerusalem. Blow a shofar in Tekoa, and set up a signal fire in Beth Hakarim, for evil has been seen from the north, and great destruction. I shall cut off the lovely and delicate one, the daughter of Zion. The shepherd with their flocks shall come to her. They shall pitch their tents against her all around. They shall pasture each one in his own place. Set apart battle against her. Arise and let us go up at noon. Woe to us, for the day goes away, for the shadows of the evening are lengthening. Arise and let us go by night and let us destroy her palaces. For thus said Yahuwah of hosts, Cut down her trees, and cast up a siege mount against Jerusalem. She is the city to be punished, in whose midst there is only oppression. As a well flows with water, so she flows with her evil. Violence and destruction are heard in her. Before me continually are suffering and smiting. Be instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my being be torn from you, lest I make you a waste a land not inhabited. Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, Let them thoroughly glean as a vine the remnant of Israel. Pass your hand again over the branches like a grape-gatherer. To whom shall I speak and give warning so that they hear? See, their ear is uncircumcised, and they are unable to listen. See, the word of Yahuwah is a reproach to them, and they do not delight in it. Therefore I am filled with the wrath of Yahuwah, I have become weary of containing it. Pour it out on the children outside and on the company of young men together. For even husband and wife shall be taken, the aged and the very old. And their houses shall be turned over to others, fields and wives together. For I shall stretch out my hand against the inhabitants of the land, declares Yahuwah. For from the least of them, even to the greatest of them, they are all greedy for gain. And from the prophet even to the priest, all act falsely. And they heal the breaches of my people, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had done abomination? No, they were not at all ashamed, nor did they know how to blush. Therefore they shall fall among those who fall. They shall stumble at the time I visit them, said Yahuwah. Thus said Yahuwah, Stand in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where the good way is and walk in it and find rest for yourselves. But they said, We do not walk in it. And I raised up watchmen over you and said, Listen to a voice of a shofar. But they said, We do not listen. Therefore hear you nations and know, O congregation, what is upon them. Hear, O earth. See, I am bringing evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not listened to my words nor my Torah, and they rejected it. What need have I of frankincense from Sheba and sweet cane from a distant land? Your ascending offerings are not acceptable, and your slaughterings have not been sweet to me. Therefore thus said Yahuwah, See, I am laying stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall stumble on them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. Thus said Yahuwah, See, a people shall come from the land of the north, and a great nation is stirred up from the farthest parts of the earth. They strengthen their bow and spear. They are cruel and have no compassion. Their voice roars like the sea. They ride on horses, set in array as a man for battle against you, O daughter of Zion. We have heard the report of it. Our hands grow weak. Distress has taken hold of us, pain as of a woman in labor. Do not go out into the field, nor walk by the way. Because of the sword of the enemy, fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, gird on sackcloth and roll about in ashes. Make mourning as for an only son. Most bitter lamentations, because suddenly the ravagers shall come upon us. I have made you a trier and a stronghold among my people, so that you know and shall try their way. 
All of them are rebels of rebels, walking as slanderers. They are bronze and iron. All of them are corruptors. The bellows have burned. The lead has been consumed by fire. The refiner has refined it in vain. For those who are evil have not been separated. They shall call them rejected silver, because Yahuwah has rejected them. Chapter 7 The word that came to Yahu from Yahuwah, saying, Stand in the gates of the house of Yahuwah, and you shall proclaim there this word, and you shall say, Hear the word of Yahuwah, all you of Yahudah, who enter in at these gates to bow before Yahuwah. Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Yisrael, Make your ways and your deeds good, then I let you dwell in this place. Do not trust in these false words, saying, This is the Hakal of Yahuwah, the Hakal of Yahuwah, the Hakal of Yahuwah. For if you truly make your ways and your deeds good, if you truly do right ruling between a man and his neighbor, if you do not oppress the sojourner, the fatherless, and the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, or walk after other mighty ones to your own evil, then I shall let you dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers for ever and ever. See, you are trusting in false words which do not profit, stealing, murdering, and committing adultery, and swearing falsely, and burning incense to Baal, and walking after other mighty ones you have not known. And you came and stood before me in this house, which is called by my name, and said, We have been delivered in order to do all these abominations. Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? Look, I, even I myself, have seen it, declares Yahuwah. But go now to my place at Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and see what I did to it because of the evil of my people Yisrael. And now, because you have done all these works, declares Yahuwah, and I spoke to you, rising up early and speaking, but you did not hear, and I called you, but you did not answer. I shall also do to this house, which is called by my name, in which you trust, and to this place which I gave to you and your fathers as I did to Shiloh, and I shall cast you out of my presence, as I have cast out all your brothers, all the seed of Ephraim. And you do not pray for this people, nor lift up a cry or prayer for them, nor make intercession to me, for I do not hear you. Do you not see what they are doing in the cities of Yehuda and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children are gathering wood, the fathers are lighting the fire, and the women are kneading their dough to make cakes for the sovereignness of the heavens and to pour out drink offerings to other mighty ones to provoke me. Is it me they are provoking, declares Yahuwah? Is it not themselves unto the shame of their own faces? Therefore thus said the master Yahuwah, See, my displeasure and my wrath is poured out on this place, on man and on beast and on the trees of the field, on the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn and not be quenched. Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Yisrael, Add your ascending offerings to your slaughterings and eat meat. For I did not speak to your fathers or command them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim about matters of ascending offerings or slaughterings. But this word I did command them, saying, Obey my voice, and I shall be your Elohim, and you be my people, and walk in all the ways that I have commanded you, so that it be well with you. But they did not obey or incline their ear, but walked in the counsels in the stubbornness of their own evil heart, and went backward and not forward, from the day that your fathers came out of the land of Mitzrayim until this day. I have even sent to you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. But they did not obey me or incline their ear, but stiffened their neck. They did evil more than their fathers. And you shall speak all these words to them, though they do not listen to you. And you shall also call to them, though they do not answer you. But you shall say to them, This is a nation that did not obey the voice of Yahuwah their Elohim, nor did they accept instruction. Truth has perished, 
and has been cut off from their mouth. Cut off your hair and throw it away and take up a lamentation on the bare heights for Yahuwah has rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. For the children of Yehuda have done what is evil in my eyes, declares Yahuwah. They have set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to defile it. And they have built the high places of Topeth, which is in the valley of the son of Hanom, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I did not command, nor did it come into my heart. Therefore, see, the days are coming, declares Yahuwah, when it shall no longer be called Topeth, or the valley of the son of Hanom, but the valley of slaughter, for they shall bury in Topeth until there is no room left. And the corpses of this people shall be food for the birds of the heavens and for the beasts of the earth, with none to frighten them away. And in the cities of Yehuda, and in the streets of Jerusalem, I shall make to cease the voice of rejoicing and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, for the land shall become a waste. Chapter 8 At that time, declares Yahuwah, they shall bring the bones of the sovereigns of Yehuda, and the bones of its heads, and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their burial sites, and shall spread them before the sun, and the moon, and all the host of the heavens, which they have loved, and which they have served, and after which they have walked, which they have sought, and to which they have bowed themselves. They shall not be gathered nor buried, they shall be for dung on the face of the earth, and death shall be preferred to life by all the rest of those who remain of this evil people, who remain in all the places where I have driven them, declares Yahuwah of hosts. And you shall say to them, Thus said Yahuwah, Would they fall and not rise? Does one turn away and not return? Why then has this people, Yerushalayim, turned away in a continual backsliding? They are strengthened in deceit. They refuse to turn back. I have listened and heard. They do not speak right. No man has repented of his evil, saying, What have I done? They all turn to their own course, like a horse rushing into battle. Even a stork in the heavens knows her appointed times. And a turtle dove and a swallow and a thrush guard the time of their coming. But my people do not know the right ruling of Yahuwah. How do you say, we are wise, and the Torah of Yahuwah is with us? But look, the false pen of the scribe has worked falsehood. The wise shall be put to shame. They shall be broken down and caught. See, they have rejected the word of Yahuwah. So what wisdom do they have? Therefore I give their wives to others and their fields to possessing ones. For from the least even to the greatest, they are all greedy for gain. From the prophet to the priest, all act falsely. And they heal the breach of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace! Peace! When there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had done abomination? No. They were not at all ashamed, nor did they know how to blush. So they shall fall among those who fall. They shall stumble in the time of their visitation, said Yahuwah. I shall snatch them away, declares Yahuwah. There are no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaf has faded. And what I gave them shall pass away from them. Why are we sitting still? Gather yourselves, and let us go into the walled cities, and let us be silent there. For Yahuwah our Elohim has let us perish and given us poisoned water to drink, because we have sinned against Yahuwah. We looked for peace, but there was no good, and for a time of healing, but see, fear. The snorting of his horses was heard from Dan. All the land shook at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones. They came and devoured the land, and all that fills it, the city and those who dwell in it. For look, I am sending among you serpents, adders, which have no enchanter, and they shall bite you, declares Yahuwah. When in grief I would seek comfort, my heart is sick within me. Observe the voice, the cry of the daughter of my people from a distant land. Is Yahuwah not in Zion? Is her sovereign not in her? 
Why have they provoked me with their carved images and with foreign worthlessness? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we have not been saved. For the breach of the daughter of my people, I have been broken. I have grown sad. Astonishment has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no healer there? Why has the healing of the daughter of my people not come? Chapter 9 Oh, that my head were waters, and my eyes a fountain of tears, and I would weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place for wayfaring men, and I would leave my people and go from them, for they are all adulterers, an assembly of treacherous men, and they bend their tongue like a bow, falsehood, and not truth prevails on the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they have not known me, declares Yahuwah. Let everyone beware of his neighbor and not trust any brother, for every brother catches by the heel, and every neighbor walks with slanderers, and everyone deceives his neighbor, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak falsehood, and have wearied themselves to crook. You live in the midst of deceit, through deceit they have refused to know me, declares Yahuwah. Therefore thus said Yahuwah of hosts, See, I shall refine them and shall try them. For what shall I do because of the daughter of my people? Their tongue is a slaying arrow. It speaks deceit, speaks peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth. But in his heart he sets his ambush. Would I not punish them for this, declares Yahuwah? Would I not avenge my being on such a nation as this? I shall take up a weeping and wailing for the mountains and for the pastures of the wilderness, a lamentation, because they have been burned up without passing over, nor has the voice of cattle been heard. Both the birds of the heavens and the beasts have fled. They have gone. And I shall make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a habitation for jackals in the cities of Yehuda. I shall make a waste without an inhabitant. Who is the wise man that he understands this? And to whom has the mouth of Yahuwah spoken that he declares it? Why has the land perished? Has it been burned up like a wilderness with none passing through? And Yahuwah says, Because they have forsaken my Torah, which I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice, nor walked according to it, but they have walked according to the stubbornness of their own heart and after the Baals which their fathers had taught them. Therefore thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, See, I am making this people eat wormwood, and I shall make them drink poisoned water, and I shall scatter them among the nations, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, and I shall send a sword after them until I have consumed them. Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, Discern and call for the mourning women, that they come and send for the wise women that they come and let them hasten and take up a wailing for us and let our eyes run with tears and our eyelids gush with water for a voice of wailing is heard from Zion how we are ravaged we are greatly ashamed because we have forsaken the land because we have been thrown out of our dwellings but hear the word of Yahuwah O women and let your ear receive the word of his mouth and teach your daughters wailing and each one her neighbor a lamentation. For death has come through our windows, has entered our palaces, cutting off children from the streets and the young men from the squares. Speak, thus declares Yahuwah. The corpses of men shall fall as dung on the face of the field, like cuttings after the reaper, with none to gather them. Thus said Yahuwah, Let not the wise boast in his wisdom, let not the mighty boast in his might nor let the rich boast in his riches, but let him who boasts boasts of this, that he understands and knows me, that I am Yahuwah, doing loving commitment, right ruling and righteousness in the earth, for in these I delight, declares Yahuwah. See, the days are coming, declares Yahuwah, when I shall punish all circumcised with the uncircumcised, Mitzrayim and Yehuda, and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab and all those trimmed on the edges 
who dwell in the wilderness. For all the nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Yisrael are uncircumcised in a heart. Chapter 10 Hear the word which Yahuwah speaks to you, O house of Yisrael. Thus said Yahuwah, Do not learn the way of the nations. Do not be awed by the signs of the heavens. For the nations are awed by them. For the laws of these people are worthless. For one cuts a tree from the forest, work for the hands of a craftsman with a cutting tool. They beautify it with silver and gold. They strengthen it with nails and hammers so that it does not topple. They are like a rounded post, and they do not speak. They have to be carried because they do not walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they do no evil, nor is it in them to do any good. There is none like you, O Yahuwah. You are great, and great is your name in might. Who would not fear you, O sovereign of the nations? For this is your due. For among all the wise men of the nations, in, in all their reigns, there is none like you. They are both brutish and foolish. An instruction of worthlessness is the tree. Silver is beaten into plates. It is brought from Tarshish and gold from Ufaz, the work of the craftsmen and of the hands of the smith, draped in blue and purple. All of them are the work of skilled ones. But Yahuwah is truly Elohim. He is the living Elohim and the everlasting sovereign. At his wrath the earth shakes, and nations are unable to stand his displeasure. Say to them this, The Elah that did not make the heavens and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. He has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom and has stretched out the heavens by his understanding. When he makes his voice heard, there is a roaring of waters in the heavens and he makes vapors rise from the ends of the earth. The lightnings for rain he has made and brings wind from his treasuries. Everyone is brutish in knowledge. Every smith is put to shame by his idol. For his molded image is falsehood. There is no spirit in them. They are worthless, a work of mockery. In the time of their punishment, they perish. The portion of Jacob is not like these. For he is the maker of all. And Yisrael is the tribe of his inheritance. Yahuwah of hosts is his name. Gather up your bundle from the ground. You who live under siege, for thus says Yahuwah, See, at this time I am hurling out the inhabitants of the land, and shall distress them so that they feel it. Woe to me for my breaking, my wound is grievous. But I say, This is my sickness, and I bear it. My tent has been ravaged, and all my cords have been broken. My children have gone from me, and they are no more. There is no one to pitch my tent anymore or to set up my curtains. For the shepherds have become brutish and they have not sought Yahuwah. Therefore they did not understand and all their flocks scattered. See, it has come, the voice of a report and a great shaking out of the land of the north to make the cities of Yahuda a waste, a habitation of jackals. Oh, Yahuwah, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not for man who walks to direct his own steps. O oh, Yahuwah, chastise me, but with right ruling, not in your displeasure, lest you bring me to naught. Pour out your wrath on the nations who do not know you, and on the tribes who do not call on your name. For they have eaten up Yaakov, devoured him, and consumed him and laid waste his home. Chapter 11 the word that came to Yirmiyahu from Yahuwah, saying, Hear the words of this covenant, and speak to the men of Yehuda and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you shall say to them, Thus said Yahuwah Elohim of Yisrael, Cursed is the man who does not obey the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day when I brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim, from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and you shall do according to all that I command you, and you shall be my people, and I be your Elohim, in order to establish the oath which I have sworn to your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. And I answered and said, Amen, Yahuwah. 
And Yahuwah said to me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Yehuda, and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear the words of this covenant and do them. For I earnestly warned your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Mitzrayim, until this day, rising early and warning, saying, Obey my voice. But they did not obey or incline their ear, but everyone walked in the stubbornness of his evil heart. So I brought on them all the words of this covenant which I commanded them to do, and they did not do. And Yahuwah said to me, There is a conspiracy among the men of Yehuda and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. We have turned back to the crookednesses of their forefathers who refused to hear my words, and they have gone after other mighty ones to serve them. The house of Yisrael and the house of Yehuda have broken my covenant I made with their fathers. Therefore thus said Yahuwah, See, I am bringing evil on them, which they are unable to escape. Then they shall cry out to me, but I shall not listen to them. And the cities of Yehuda and the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall go and cry out to the mighty ones to whom they burn incense. But they shall bring no deliverance to them at all in the time of their evil. For your mighty ones have become as many as your cities, O Yehuda, and you have set up as many slaughter places to shame as there are streets in Jerusalem, slaughter places to burn incense to Baal. And you do not pray for this people or lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I do not hear them in the time that they cry out to me because of their evil. Why should my beloved be in my house? She has done wickedness with many. And does the set-apart flesh remove your evil from you? Then you rejoice. Yahuwah has named you green olive tree, beautiful, of goodly fruit. With the noise of a great sound, he has set it on fire, and its branches shall be broken. And Yahuwah of hosts, who planted you, has spoken evil against you for the evil of the house of Yisrael and of the house of Yehuda, which they have done against themselves to provoke me by burning incense to Baal. And Yahuwah made it known to me, and I know it. Then you showed me their deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb brought to the slaughter, And I did not know that they had plotted against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, and let his name be remembered no more. But Yahuwah of hosts, who judges righteously, who tries kidneys and heart, let me see your vengeance upon them, for unto you I have revealed my cause. Therefore thus said Yahuwah concerning the men of Anathoth, who are seeking your life, saying, Do not prophesy in the name of Yahuwah lest you die by our hand. Therefore thus said Yahuwah of hosts, See, I am punishing them. The young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die by scarcity of food, and there shall be no remnant of them. For I bring evil on the men of Anathoth, the year of their punishment. Chapter 12 Righteous are you, O Yahuwah, when I plead with you, Indeed, let me speak with you about right rulings. Why has the way of the wrong prospered? All the workers of treachery are at ease. You have planted them, and they have taken root. They grow and they bear fruit. You are near in their mouth, but far from their kidneys. But you have known me, O Yahuwah. You see me, and you have tried my heart toward you. Draw them away like sheep for slaughter, and separate them for the day of slaughter. How long shall the land mourn and the plants of every field wither? The beasts and birds are consumed for the evil of those who dwell there, because they said, He does not see our latter ending. If you have run with the footmen, and they have wearied you, then how do you contend with horses? And if in the land of peace you feel safe, then how do you manage in the Yarden jungle? For even your brothers, the house of your father, even they have betrayed you. Even they have cried aloud after you. Do not believe them. Even though they speak smooth words to you, I have forsaken my house. I have left my inheritance. I have given the beloved of my being into the hand of her enemies. My inheritance has become to me like a lion in the forest. It cries out against me. Therefore I have hated it. 
my inheritance to me like a speckled bird of prey. The birds of prey all around are against her. Go, gather all the beasts of the field, bring them to devour. Many shepherds have destroyed my vineyard. They have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion become a deserted wilderness. They have laid it waste, a waste. It mourns to me. All the land is laid waste because no one takes it to heart. The ravagers have come on all the bare heights in the wilderness, for the sword of Yahuwah is devouring from one end of the land to the other end of the land. There is no peace to any flesh. They have sown wheat, but reaped thorns. They have exhausted themselves. They do not profit. And they shall be ashamed of your harvest because of the burning displeasure of Yahuwah. Thus said Yahuwah, As for all my evil neighbors who touch the inheritance which I have caused my people Yisrael to inherit, see, I am plucking them out of their land, and I shall pluck out of the house of Yehuda from their midst. And it shall be after my plucking them out, I shall return and have compassion on them and bring them back, everyone to his inheritance and everyone to his land. And it shall be, if they learn well the ways of my people to swear by my name as Yahuwah lives, as they taught my people to swear by Baal, then they shall be established in the midst of my people. But if they do not obey, I shall pluck up, pluck up and destroy that nation, declares Yahuwah. Chapter 13 Verse 13 Verse 13 Verse 13 Chapter 13 Thus Yahuwah said to me, Go and get yourself a linen girdle and put it on your loins, but do not put it in water. So I bought a girdle according to the word of Yahuwah and put it on my loins. And the word of Yahuwah came to me the second time, saying, Take the girdle that you have bought, which is on your loins, and arise, go to the Euphrates and hide it there in a hole in the rock. And I went and hid it by the Euphrates as Yahuwah commanded me. And it came to be after many days that Yahuwah said to me, Arise, go to the Euphrates, and take from there the girdle which I commanded you to hide there. So I went to the Euphrates and dug, and I took the girdle from the place where I had hidden it, and there was the girdle, ruined. And it was completely useless. And the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, Thus said Yahuwah, Thus I ruined the pride of Yahuda and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people, who refuse to hear my words, who walk in the stubbornness of their heart, and walk after other mighty ones to serve them and to bow themselves to them, is like this girdle, which is completely useless. For as the girdle clings to the loins of a man, so I have caused all the house of Israel, and all the house of Yehuda to cling to me, declares Yahuwah, to become mine, for a people and for a name and for a praise and for an adorning, but they did not listen. And you shall speak to them this word. Thus said Yahuwah, Elohim of Israel. Every bottle is to be filled with wine. And when they say to you, Do we not know that every bottle should be filled with wine? Then say to them, Thus said Yahuwah, See, I am filling all the inhabitants of this land, and the sovereigns who sit on the throne of David, and the priests, and the prophets, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness. And I shall dash them one against another, both the fathers and the sons together, declares Yahuwah. I do not spare, nor pardon, nor have compassion, that I should not destroy them. Listen, and give ear. Do not be proud, for Yahuwah has spoken. Give esteem to Yahuwah your Elohim, before he brings darkness, and before your feet stumble on the dark mountains." And while you are looking for light, he turns it into the shadow of death, makes it gross darkness. And if you do not listen, my being shall weep in secret for your pride. My eyes will bitterly weep and run down with tears, because the flock of Yahuwah shall be taken captive. Say to the sovereign and to the sovereign's mother, Humble yourselves, sit down for your rule. The crown of your comeliness has come down. The cities of the south shall be shut up with no one to open them. Yehuda shall be taken into exile, all of it. She shall be taken into exile completely. Lift up your eyes and see those who come from the north. Where is the flock that was given to you, your fair sheep? 
What would you say when he visits you? For you have taught them to be chiefs, to be head over you. Do not pang seize you like a woman in labor. And when you say in your heart, Why has this come upon me? It is because of your great crookedness that your skirts have been uncovered, your heels made bare. Does a Cushite change his skin and a leopard its spots? You who are taught to do evil are also unable to do good. So I shall scatter them like stubble that passes away by the wind of the wilderness. This is your lot, your measured portion from me, declares Yahuwah. Because you have forgotten me and trusted in falsehood, I shall even draw your skirts over your face and your shame shall be seen. Your adulteries and your neighings, the wickedness of your whoring. I have seen your abomination on the hills and the fields. Woe to you, O Yerushalayim! How long before you would be made clean? Chapter 14 The Word of Yahuwah that came to Yahu concerning the matter of droughts. Yehuda has mourned, and her gates have languished. They have mourned on the ground, and the cry of Yerushalayim has gone up. And their nobles have sent their little ones for water. They went to the cisterns and found no water. They returned with their vessels empty. They were put to shame and blushed and covered their heads, because the ground became cracked, for there had been no rain in the land. The plowmen were put to shame. They covered their heads. Even the deer gave birth in the field, but left because there was no grass. And wild donkeys stood in the bare heights. They sniffed at the wind like jackals. Their eyes have failed because there was no grass. O oh, Yahuwah, though our crookedness witness against us, act for your name's sake, for our backslidings have been many. We have sinned against you. O oh, expectation of Yisrael, its savior in time of distress. Why should you be like a sojourner in the land, or like a traveler who turns aside to lodge? Why should you be as one who is stunned, as a mighty man that is unable to save? Yet you, O Yahuwah, are in our midst, and your name has been called on us. Do not leave us, thus said Yahuwah to this people, so they have loved to wander. They have not restrained their feet, therefore Yahuwah has not accepted them. Now he does remember their crookedness and punish their sins. And Yahuwah said to me, Do not pray for this people for their good. When they fast, I do not hear their cry. And when they offer ascending offerings and grain offerings, I do not accept them. Instead, I am consuming them by sword and by scarcity of food and by pestilence. But I said, Ah, oh, Master Yahuwah, see the prophets say to them, You are not to see a sword nor has scarcity of food, for I give you true peace in this place. Then Yahuwah said to me, The prophets prophesy falsehood in my name. I have not sent them, nor commanded them, nor spoken to them. They are prophesying to you a false vision, worthless divination, and the deceit of their own heart. Therefore thus said Yahuwah concerning the prophets who prophesy in my name, whom I did not send, and who say, Sword and scarcity of food shall not be in this land. By sword and scarcity of food those prophets shall be consumed, and the people to whom they are prophesying shall be thrown out in the streets of Jerusalem, because of the scarcity of food and the sword, with no one to bury them, them nor their wives, their sons nor their daughters, for I shall pour their evil on them. And you shall say this word to them, Let my eyes flow with tears night and day, and let them not cease, for the maiden daughter of my people has been crushed with a mighty blow, with a very severe wound. If I go out to the field, then see those slain with the sword. And if I enter the city, then see those sick from scarcity of food. For both prophet and priest go about in a land they do not know. Have you completely rejected Yehuda? Has your being loathed Zion? Why have you stricken us so that there is no healing for us? We looked for peace, but there was no good. And for the time of healing, but see fear. O oh, Yahuwah, we know our wrong and the crookedness of our fathers, for we have sinned against you. Do not scorn us for your name's sake. Do not despise the throne of your esteem. Remember, do not break your covenant with us. Are there among the worthless idols of the nations 
any causing rain? And do the heavens give showers? Are you not he, O Yahuwah, our Elohim? And we wait for you, for you are the one who does all this. Chapter 15 And Yahuwah said to me, Even if Moshe and Shemuel were to stand before me, my being is not towards this people. Send them away from my presence. Let them go. And it shall be when they say to you, Where do we go? Then you shall say to them, Thus said Yahuwah, Those for death to death, and those for the sword to the sword, and those for scarcity of food to scarcity of food, and those for captivity to captivity. And I shall appoint over them four kinds, declares Yahuwah, the sword to kill, the dogs to drag, the birds of the heavens and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And I shall make them a horror to all the reigns of the earth on account of Manasseh, son of Hezekiah, sovereign of Yehuda, because of what he did in Jerusalem. For who has compassion on you, O Jerusalem, and who mourns for you, and who turns aside to ask how you are doing? You have forsaken me, declares Yahuwah. You have gone backward. Therefore I shall stretch out my hand against you and destroy you. I have been weary of relenting, and I shall winnow them with a winnowing fan in the gates of the land. And I shall bereave, I shall destroy my people. They would not turn back from their ways. Their widows shall be more numerous than the sand of the seas. I shall bring against them, against the mother of the young men, a ravager at noon. I shall cause agitation and sudden alarm to fall on her suddenly. She who has borne seven shall pine away. She shall breathe her last. Her son shall go down while it is yet day. She shall be put to shame and be humiliated, and the remnant I give up to the sword before their enemies, declares Yahuwah. Woe to me, my mother, that you have borne me, a man of strife and a man of contention all the earth. I have neither lent for interest nor have men lent to me for interest. All of them are reviling me. Yahuwah said, Did I not direct you for your good? Did I not intercede for you in a time of evil and in a time of distress against the enemy? Does one break iron, iron or bronze from the north? Your wealth and your treasures I give as plunders, not for price, because of all your sins, even in all your borders. And I shall cause them to pass over with your enemies into a land which you did not know. For a fire is kindled in my displeasure, which burns upon you. You yourself know, O Yahuwah. Remember me and visit me and take vengeance for me on those who persecute me. In your patience, do not take me away. Know that for you I have suffered reproach. Your words were found, and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. For your name is called on me, O Yahuwah Elohim of hosts. I have not sat in the company of mockers, nor do I exult. I have sat alone because of your hand, for you have filled me with displeasure. Why is my pain without end and my wound incurable, which refuses to be healed? Are you not to me like a failing stream, as waters not steadfast? Therefore thus said Yahuwah, If you turn back, then I shall bring you back. Before me you shall stand. And if you take out the precious from the worthless, you shall become as my mouth. Let them return to you, but do not return to them. And I shall make you to this people a strong bronze wall. And they shall fight against you, but not overcome you. For I am with you to save you and deliver you, declares Yahuwah. And I shall deliver you from the hand of evildoers. And I shall ransom you from the grip of the ruthless. Chapter 16 And the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, Do not take a wife nor have sons or daughters in this place. For thus said Yahuwah concerning the sons and daughters who are born in this place, and concerning their mothers who bear them, and their fathers who bring them forth in this land. They shall die of deaths from diseases. They shall not be lamented nor be buried, but be like dung on the face of the earth, and be consumed by sword and by scarcity of food. And their corpses shall be meat for the birds of the heavens and for the beasts of the earth. For thus said Yahuwah, do not enter the house of mourning. 
neither go to lament or mourn for them. For I have withdrawn my peace from this people, declares Yahuwah, even the loving commitment and the compassions. Both great and small shall die in this land. They shall not be buried, and no one shall lament for them, or cut themselves, or make themselves bald for them. Neither shall they break bread in mourning for them to comfort them for the dead, nor give them the cup of comfort to drink for their father or their mother. Do not enter the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and drink. For thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Yisrael, See before your eyes, and in your days I am making the voice of rejoicing, and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride to cease in this place. And it shall be, when you declare to this people all these words, and they shall say to you, Why has Yahuwah pronounced all this great evil against us? And what is our crookedness? And what is our sin that we have committed against Yahuwah, our Elohim? Then you shall say to them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, declares Yahuwah, and have walked after other mighty ones, and served them, and bowed themselves to them, and have forsaken me, and did not guard my Torah. And you have done more evil than your fathers, for look, each one walks according to the stubbornness of his own evil heart, without listening to me. So I shall throw you out of this land, into a land that you do not know, neither you nor your fathers. And there you shall serve other mighty ones day and night, where I show you no favor. Therefore see, the days are coming, declares Yahuwah, when it is no longer said, Yahuwah lives, who brought up the children of Yisrael from the land of Mitzrayim. But Yahuwah lives, who brought up the children of Yisrael from the land of the north, and from all the lands where he had driven them. For I shall bring them back into their lands I gave to their fathers. See, I am sending for many fishermen, declares Yahuwah, and they shall fish them. And after that I shall send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For my eyes are on all their ways. They have not been hidden from my face, nor has their crookedness been hidden from my eyes. And first I shall repay double for their crookedness and their sin, because they have defiled my land with the dead bodies of their disgusting matters, and have filled my inheritance with their abominations. O oh, Yahuwah, my strength and my stronghold and my refuge in the day of distress, the nation shall come to you from the ends of the earth and say, Our fathers have inherited only falsehood, futility, and there is no value in them. Would a man make mighty ones for himself which are not mighty ones? Therefore see, I am causing them to know. This time I cause them to know my hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is Yahuwah. Chapter 17 The sin of Yehuda is written with a pen of iron, engraved with the point of a diamond on the tablet of their heart, and on the horns of your slaughter places and their asherim by the spreading trees on the high hills. My mountain in the field, I give as plunder for your wealth, all your treasures, your high places of sin, throughout all your borders. And you, even of yourself, shall let go of your inheritance which I gave you, and I shall make you serve your enemies in a land which you have not known. For you have kindled a fire in my displeasure which burns forever. Thus said Yahuwah, Cursed is the man who trusts in man, makes flesh his arm, and whose heart turns away from Yahuwah, for he shall be like a shrub in the desert, and not see when good comes, and shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, a salt land that is not inhabited. Blessed is the man who trusts in Yahuwah, and whose trust is Yahuwah, for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and does not see when heat comes, and his leaf shall be green, and in the year of drought he is not anxious, nor does he cease from yielding fruit. The heart is crooked above all, and desperately sick. Who shall know it? I, Yahuwah, search the heart. I try the kidneys, and give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. As a partridge that broods but does not hatch, so is he who gets riches, but not by right. 
It leaves him in the midst of his days, and at his end he is a fool. An esteemed throne, exalted from the beginning, is the place of our set-apart place. O Yahuwah, the expectation of Yisrael, all who forsake you are put to shame. Those who depart from me shall be written in the earth, because they have forsaken Yahuwah, the fountain of living waters. Heal me, O Yahuwah, so that I am healed. Save me, so that I am saved, for you are my praise. See, they say to me, Where is the word of Yahuwah? Let it come now. And I have not run away from being a shepherd who follows you, nor have I longed for the desperately sick day. You yourself have known that which came out of my lips was before you. Do not be a ruin to me. You are my shelter in the day of evil. Let these who persecute me be put to shame, but do not let me be put to shame. Let them be broken, but do not let me be broken. Bring on them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. Thus said Yahuwah to me, Go and stand in the gate of the children and of the people, by which the sovereigns of Yehuda come in and by which they go out, and in all the gates of Jerusalem. And you shall say to them, Hear the word of Yahuwah, you sovereigns of Yehuda, and all Yehuda and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem who enter by these gates. Thus said Yahuwah, Guard yourselves and bear no burden on the Sabbath day, nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem nor take a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day, nor do any work. And you shall set apart the Sabbath day as I commanded your fathers. But they did not obey or incline their ear, and they made their necks stiff not to hear and not to receive instruction. And it shall be, if you diligently obey me, declares Yahuwah, to bring in no burden through the gates of the city on the Sabbath day, and to set apart the Sabbath day to do no work in it, Then sovereigns and heads sitting on the throne of David shall enter in through the gates of the city, riding in chariots and on horses, they and their heads, the men of Yehuda and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and this city shall be inhabited forever, and they shall come from the cities of Yehuda and from the places around Jerusalem, and from the land of Benjamin and from the low country, from the mountains and from the south, bringing ascending offerings and slaughterings grain offerings and incense, bringing offerings of praise to the house of Yahuwah. But if you do not obey me to set apart the Sabbath day and not to bear a burden when entering the gates of Jerusalem on the Sabbath day, then I shall kindle a fire in its gates and it shall consume the palaces of Jerusalem and not be quenched. Chapter 18 the word which came to Yeremiahu from Yahuwah, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I let you hear my words. So I went down to the potter's house and saw him doing a piece of work on the wheel, and the vessel that he made of clay was ruined in the hands of the potter. So he remade it into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to do. Then the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, O house of Israel, Am I not able to do with you as this potter, declares Yahuwah? Look, as the clay is in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. The moment I speak concerning a nation and concerning a rain to pluck up, to pull down, and to destroy it, and that nation shall turn from its evil because I have spoken against it, then I shall repent of the evil that I thought to do to it. And the moment I speak concerning a nation and concerning a rain, to build and to plant it. And it shall do evil in my eyes in not obeying my voice. Then I shall repent concerning the good which I spoke of doing to it. And now speak to the men of Yehuda and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said Yahuwah, See, I am forming evil and devising a plan against you. Return now every one from his evil way and make your ways and your deeds good. But they say, It's no use, for we walk according to our own plans, and we do each one the stubbornness of his evil heart. Therefore thus said Yahuwah, Ask now among the nations, who has heard the like of this? The maiden of Israel has done what is most horrible. Does the snow of Lebanon cease from the rock of the field, or the strange cool flowing waters dry up? But my people have forgotten me. They have burned incense to what is false, 
and they have stumbled from their ways, from the ancient paths, to walk in bypaths and not on a highway, to make their land become a ruin, a hissing forever. Everyone who passes by it is appalled and shakes his head. I shall scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I shall show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Then they said, Come, and let us devise plans against Yermiyahu, for the Torah shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come, and let us strike him with the tongue, and let us not listen to any of his words. Attend to me, O Yahuwah, and listen to the voice of my adversaries. Should good be repaid with evil? For they have dug a pit for my life. Remember that I stood before you to speak good for them and to turn away your wrath from them. So give their children over to scarcity of food and hand them over to the power of the sword. Let their wives become widows and bereaved of their children. Let their men be killed to death. Their young men be stricken by the sword in battle. And let a cry be heard from their houses when you bring a raiding party suddenly upon them, for they have dug a pit to take me and laid snares for my feet. But you, O Yahuwah, you know all their counsel against me to slay me. Do not pardon their crookedness, nor blot out their sin from your presence, and let them be overthrown before you. Deal with them in the time of your displeasure. Chapter 19 Thus said Yahuwah, Go and get a potter's earthen jug, and take some of the elders of the people, and some of the elders of the priests. Then you shall go out to the valley of the son of Hanom, which is by the entry of the potsherd gate, and shall proclaim there the words that I speak to you, and shall say, Hear the word of Yahuwah, O sovereigns of Yehuda, and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Yisrael, See, I am bringing evil on this place that makes the ears tingle of all who hear it, because they have forsaken me and have profaned this place and have burned incense in it to other mighty ones, whom neither they nor their fathers nor the sovereigns of Yehuda have known. And they have filled this place with the blood of the innocents and have built the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for ascending offerings to Baal, which I did not command or speak nor did it come into my heart. Therefore see, the days are coming, declares Yahuwah, that this place shall no more be called Topheth, or the valley of the son of Hinnom, but rather the valley of slaughter. And I shall pour out the counsel of Yehuda and Jerusalem in this place, and I shall make them fall by the sword before their enemies, and by the hands of those who seek their lives." And I shall give their corpses as meat for the birds of the heavens and for the beasts of the earth. And I shall make this city a ruin and a hissing. Everyone who passes by it is appalled and hisses because of all its plagues. And I shall make them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters and eat one another's flesh in the siege and in the distress with which their enemies and those who seek their lives distress them. And you shall break the jug before the eyes of the men who go with you, and shall say to them, Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, Even so I break this people and this city as one breaks a potter's vessel, which one is unable to repair again. And let them bury them in Topeth, till there is no place to bury. This is what I shall do to this place, declares Yahuwah, and to its inhabitants, so as to make this city like Topeth. And the houses of Jerusalem and the houses of the sovereigns of Yehuda shall be as unclean as the place of Topeth, because of all the houses on whose roofs they have burned incense to all the hosts of the heavens, and poured out drink offerings to other mighty ones. And when Jeremiah returned from Topeth, where Yahuwah had sent him to prophesy, he stood in the courtyard of the house of Yahuwah, and said to all the people, Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Yisrael, See, I am bringing on this city and on all her towns all the evil that I pronounced against it, because they have stiffened their necks so as not to hear my words. Chapter 20 And Pashur, son of Imer, the priest who was also chief governor in the house of Yahuwah, heard that Yermiyahu prophesied these words. 
And Pashur struck Yermiyahu the prophet, and put him in the stocks that were in the high gate of Benjamin, which was by the house of Yahuwah. And it came to be on the next day that Pashur brought Yermiyahu out of the stocks. And Yermiyahu said to him, Yahuwah has not called your name Pashur, but Magor Misabib. For thus said Yahuwah, I am making you a fear to yourself and to all your loved ones, and they shall fall by the sword of their enemies while your eyes see it. And I shall give all Yehuda into the hand of the sovereign of Babel, and he shall exile them to Babel and strike them with the sword. And I shall give all the wealth of this city and all its labor and all its valuables and all the treasures of the sovereigns of Yehuda. I give into the hand of their enemies, who shall plunder them, seize them, and shall bring them to Babel. And you, Pashur, and all who dwell in your house shall go into captivity and enter into Babel, and there you shall die and be buried there, you and all your loved ones to whom you have prophesied falsehood. O Yahuwah, you enticed me, and I was enticed. You are stronger than I and have prevailed. I have been ridiculed all day long. Everyone mocks me. For when I speak, I cry out, proclaiming violence and ruin. Because of the word of Yahuwah was made to me a reproach and a derision daily. Whenever I said, Let me not mention him, nor speak in his name again. It was in my heart like a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I became weary of holding it back and was helpless. For I heard many mocking, Fear on every side. Expose, they say. Yes, let us expose him. All my friends watched for my stumbling, saying, He might be lured away so that we prevail against him and take our vengeance on him. But Yahuwah is with me like a mighty awesome one, Therefore my persecutors shall stumble and not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they have not acted wisely, an everlasting reproach never to be forgotten. But, O Yahu of hosts, trying the righteous and seeing the kidneys and heart, let me see your vengeance on them, for I have revealed my cause to you. Sing to Yahuwah, praise Yahuwah, for he has delivered the being of the poor from the hand of the evil ones. Cursed be the day in which I was born. Let the day not be blessed in which my mother bore me. Let the man be cursed who brought news to my father, saying, A son, a male has been born to you, making him very glad. And let that man be like the cities which Yahuwah overthrew and repented not. Let him hear the cry in the morning and the shouting at noon, because I was not slain from the womb so that my mother should have been my burial site in her womb forever great. Why did I come forth from the womb to see toil and sorrow and spend my days in shame? Chapter 21 The word that came to Yermiyahu from Yahuwah when sovereign Zedekiyahu sent to him Pashur son of Malkiah and Zephaniah the son of Maseiah, the priest saying, Please inquire of Yahuwah on our behalf, for Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, has started fighting against us. It might be that Yahuwah deals with us according to all his wondrous works, so that he withdraws from us. But Yermiyahu said to them, Say this to Siddiqui Yahu. Thus said Yahuwah Elohim of Yisrael, See, I am turning back the weapons of battle that are in your hands, with which you fight against the sovereign of Babel and the Kasdim who besiege you outside the wall and I shall gather them inside this city, and I myself shall fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm, even in displeasure and rage and great wrath. And I shall strike the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast, let them die of a great pestilence. And afterward declares Yahuwah, I give Zedekiah, sovereign of Yehuda, his servants and the people and such as are left in this city from the pestilence, and the sword and the scarcity of food, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those who seek their life. And he shall strike them with the edge of the sword. He shall not pardon them, nor spare, nor have compassion. You shall also say to this people, Thus said Yahuwah, See, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. Whoever stays in this city 
dies by the sword, by scarcity of food, and by pestilence. But whoever goes out and shall go over to the Kasdim who besiege you is going to live, and his life shall be as a prize to him. For I have set my face against this city for evil and not for good, declares Yahuwah. It is given into the hand of the sovereign of Babel, and he shall burn it with fire. And to the house of the sovereign of Yahuda say, Hear the word of Yahuwah, O house of David. Thus said Yahuwah, Render right ruling in the morning, and deliver him who has been robbed out of the hand of the oppressor, lest my wrath go out like fire and burn with no one to quench it, because of the evil of your deeds. See, I am against you, O inhabitant of the valley, rock of the plain, declares Yahuwah, who are saying, Who would come down against us? And who would come into our dwellings? And I shall punish you according to the fruit of your deeds, declares Yahuwah. And I shall kindle a fire in its forest, and it shall consume all that is around her. Chapter 22 Thus said Yahuwah, Go down to the house of the sovereign of Yehuda, and there you shall speak this word, and shall say, Hear the word of Yahuwah, O sovereign of Yehuda. You who sits on the throne of David, you and your servants and your people who enter these gates, thus said Yahuwah, do right ruling and righteousness, and deliver him who is robbed out of the hand of the oppressor. Do not maltreat, nor do violence to the sojourner, the fatherless or the widow, nor shed innocent blood in this place. For if you certainly do this word, then there shall enter in by the gates of this house Sovereign sitting on the throne of David, riding on horses and in chariots, he and his servants and his people. But if you do not obey these words, I swear by myself, declares Yahuwah, that this house shall become a ruin. For thus said Yahuwah to the house of the sovereign of Yehuda, You are like Gilad to me, the head of Lebanon. But I shall make you a wilderness and cities which are not inhabited. And I shall prepare destroyers against you, each with his weapons. And they shall cut down your choice cedars and throw them into the fire. And many nations shall pass by this city. And they shall say to one another, Why has Yahuwah done so to this great city? Then they shall say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of Yahuwah their Elohim, and bowed themselves to other mighty ones and served them. Do not weep for the dead, nor mourn for him. Weep bitterly for him who goes away, for he shall never come back, nor see the land of his birth. For thus said Yahuwah concerning Shalom, son of Yoshiyahu, sovereign of Yehuda, who reigned instead of Yoshiyahu, his father, who went from this place. He shall never come back, for he shall die in the place where they have exiled him, and not see this land again. Woe to him who builds his house without righteousness, and his rooms without right ruling, who uses his neighbor's service without wages, and does not give him his wages, who says, I am going to build myself a wide house with spacious rooms, and cut out windows for it, paneling it with cedar and painting it red. Do you reign because you enclose yourself in cedar? Did not your father eat and drink and do right ruling and righteousness? Then it was well with him. He defended the cause of the poor and needy. Then it was well. Was this not to know me, declares Yahuwah? But your eyes and your heart are only upon your own greedy gain, and on shedding innocent blood, and on oppression and on doing violence. Therefore thus said Yahuwah, concerning Jehoiakim, son of Yoshiyahu, sovereign of Yehuda, let them not lament for him. Alas, my brother, or alas, my sister, let them not lament for him. Alas, master, or alas, his excellency. He shall be buried, the burial place of a donkey, dragged and thrown outside the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry out, and lift up your voice in Bashan, and cry from Abarim, for all your lovers are destroyed. I have spoken to you in your ease, but you said, I do not listen. This has been your way from your youth, for you did not obey my voice. Let all your shepherds be devoured by the wind, and your lovers go into captivity. Then you shall be ashamed and humiliated for all your evil. You who dwell in Lebanon, being nested in the cedars, 
How you shall groan when pangs come upon you, like the pains of a woman giving birth. As I live, declares Yahuwah, though Koniyahu, son of Jehoiakim, sovereign of Yehuda, were the signet of my right hand, I would still pull you off from there, and I shall give you into the hand of those who seek your life, and into the hand of those whose face you fear, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, and the hand of the Kassadim. And I shall hurl you out, and your mother who bore you into another land where you were not born, and there you shall die. But they shall not return to the land to which their being yearns to return. Is this man, Koniyahu, a despised broken pot, or an undesirable vessel? Why are they hurled out, he and his descendants, and cast into a land which they do not know? O oh, land, 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 hear the word of Yahuwah. Thus said Yahuwah, write this man down as childless, a strong man who is not to prosper in his days, for none of his descendants shall prosper, sitting on the throne of David, or rule any more in Yehuda. Chapter 23 Woe to the shepherds destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture, declares Yahuwah. Therefore thus said Yahuwah Elohim of Israel against the shepherds who feed my people, You have scattered my flock, driven them away, and have not tended them. See, I am punishing you for the evil of your deeds, declares Yahuwah. Therefore I shall gather the remnant of my flock out of the lands where I have driven them, and shall bring them back to their fold, and they shall bear an increase. And I shall raise up shepherds over them, and they shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be discouraged, nor shall be lacking, declares Yahuwah. See, the days are coming, declares Yahuwah, when I shall raise for David a branch of righteousness, and a sovereign shall reign and act wisely, and shall do right ruling and righteousness in the earth. In his days Yehuda shall be saved, and Yisrael dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called, Yahuwah, our righteousness. Therefore see, the days are coming, declares Yahuwah, when they shall say no more, as Yahuwah lives who brought up the children of Yisrael out of the land of Mitzrayim, but as Yahuwah lives who brought up and led the seed of the house of Yisrael, out of the land of the north, and from all the lands where I had driven them, and they shall dwell on their own soil. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I'm like a drunken man and like a man overcome by wine. Because of Yahuwah, because of his set-apart words. For the land is filled with adulterers. For the land mourns because of a curse. The pastures of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their might is not right. For both prophet and priest have become defiled. Even in my house I have found their evil, declares Yahuwah. Therefore their way is to them like slippery ways in the dark. They are driven on, and they shall fall in them. For I bring evil on them, the year of their punishment, declares Yahuwah. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Shamaron. They prophesied by Baal and led my people Yisrael astray. And among the prophets of Jerusalem, I have seen a horrible matter, committing adultery and walking in falsehood. And they strengthen the hands of evil ones so that no one turns back from his evil. All of them are like Sodom to me and her inhabitants like Amora. Therefore thus said Yahuwah of hosts concerning the prophets, See, I am making them eat wormwood and shall make them drink poisoned water. For defilement has gone out into all the land from the prophets of Jerusalem. Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They lead you astray. They speak a vision of their own heart, not from the mouth of Yahuwah. They keep on saying to those who despise me, Yahuwah has said you shall have peace. And to all who walk according to the stubbornness of their own heart, they say, No evil comes upon you. For who has stood in the council of Yahuwah and has seen and heard his word? Who has listened to his word and obeyed it? See, a storm of Yahuwah shall go forth in a rage, a whirling storm. It whirls on the head of the wrong. The displeasure of Yahuwah shall not turn back until he has done and established the purpose of his heart. In the latter days you shall understand it perfectly. 
I do not send these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, then they would have let my people hear my words, and they would have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their deeds. Am I an Elohim close by, declares Yahuwah, and not an Elohim afar off? If anyone is hidden in secret places, would I not see him, declares Yahuwah? Do I not fill the heavens and earth, declares Yahuwah? I have heard what the prophets have said, who prophesied falsehood in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Till when shall it be in the heart of the prophets, the prophets of falsehood and the prophets of deceit of their own heart, who try to make my people forget my name by their dreams, which everyone relates to his neighbor, as their fathers forgot my name for Baal. The prophet who has a dream, let him relate the dream. And he who has my word, let him speak my word in truth. What is the chaff to the wheat, declares Yahuwah? Is not my word like a fire, declares Yahuwah, and like a hammer that shatters a rock? Therefore see, I am against the prophets, declares Yahuwah, who steal my words, every one from his neighbor. See, I am against the prophets, declares Yahuwah, who use their tongues and say, He declares... See, I am against those who prophesy false dreams, declares Yahuwah, and relate them and lead my people astray by their falsehoods and by their reckless boasting. But I myself did not send them, nor have I commanded them, and they do not profit this people at all, declares Yahuwah. As for the prophet and the priest and the people who say, The message of Yahuwah, I shall punish that man in his house. This is what each one says to his neighbor and each one to his brother. What has Yahuwah answered? And what has Yahuwah spoken? But the message of Yahuwah you no longer remember, for every man's message is his own word. For you have changed the words of the living Elohim, Yahuwah of hosts our Elohim. This is what you say to the prophet. What has Yahuwah answered you? And what has Yahuwah spoken? But since you say, The message of Yahuwah! Therefore thus said Yahuwah, because you say this word, the message of Yahuwah. And I have sent to you saying, do not say the message of Yahuwah. Therefore, see, I shall utterly forget you and cast you away from my presence, along with the city that I gave you and your fathers. And I shall put an everlasting reproach on you and an everlasting shame that is not forgotten. Chapter 24 Yahuwah showed me, and look, there were two baskets of figs set before the Hakal of Yahuwah. After Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, had exiled Yekin Yahu, son of Yehoiakim, sovereign of Yehuda, and the heads of Yehuda with the craftsmen and smiths from Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babel. One basket had very good figs, like the figs that are first ripe, and the other basket had very spoiled figs, which could not be eaten. They were so spoiled. And Yahuwah said to me, What do you see, Yermiyahu? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good, and the spoiled, very spoiled, which could not be eaten, they are so spoiled. Again the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, Thus said Yahuwah, the Elohim of Yisrael, Like these good figs, so do I acknowledge the exiles of Yehuda, whom I have sent out of this place for their own good, into the land of the Kasdim. And I shall set my eyes on them for good, and shall bring them back to this land. And I shall build them and not pull them down, and shall plant them and not pluck them up. And I shall give them a heart to know me, that I am Yahuwah. And they shall be my people, and I shall be their Elohim, for they shall turn back to me with all their heart. And as the spoiled figs that could not be eaten because they are so spoiled, for thus said Yahuwah, so do I give up Zedekiahu, the sovereign of Yehuda, his heads, the rest of Jerusalem who remain in this land, and those who dwell in the land of Mitzrayim. And I shall make them a horror to all the reigns of the earth, for evil, to be a reproach and a byword, a mockery and a curse in all the places to which I drive them. And I shall send the sword, the scarcity of food and the pestilence among them, 
till they are consumed from the land that I gave to them and their fathers. Chapter 25 The word that came to Yermiyahu concerning all the people of Yehuda in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, son of Yoshiyahu, the sovereign of Yehuda, which was the first year of Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, which Yermiyahu the prophet spoke to all the people of Yehuda and to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, From the thirteenth year of Yeshiyahu, son of Ammon, sovereign of Yehuda, even to this day, this is the twenty-third year in which the word of Yahuwah has come to me, and I have spoken to you, rising early and speaking, but you have not listened. Moreover, Yahuwah has sent to you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but you have not listened nor inclined your ear to hear, saying, Turn back now, everyone, from his evil way, from the evil of your deeds, and dwell on the soil which Yahuwah has given to you and your fathers forever and ever. And do not go after other mighty ones to serve them and to bow down to them. And do not provoke me with the works of your hands so that I do you no evil. But you do not listen to me, declares Yahuwah, so as to provoke me with the works of your hands for your own evil. Therefore, thus said Yahuwah of hosts, because you did not obey my words, see, I am sending and taking all the tribes of the north, declares Yahuwah, and Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, my servant, and shall bring them against this land and against its inhabitants and against these nations all around and shall put them under the ban and make them an astonishment and a hissing and everlasting ruins. And I shall banish from them the voice of rejoicing and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the sound of the millstones and the light of the lamp. And all this land shall be a ruin and a waste. And these nations shall serve the sovereign of Babel seventy years. And it shall be when seventy years are completed that I shall punish the sovereign of Babel and that nation, the land of the Kasdim, for their crookedness, declares Yahuwah, and shall make it everlasting ruins. And I shall bring on that land all my words which I have pronounced against it, all that is written in this book, which Yermiyahu has prophesied concerning all the nations. For they too shall be enslaved by many nations and great sovereigns. And I shall repay them according to their deeds and according to the works of their hands. For thus said Yahuwah Elohim of Israel to me, Take this wine cup of wrath from my hand and make all the nations to whom I send you drink it. And they shall drink and shake and go mad because of the sword that I am sending among them. I then took the cup from the hand of Yahuwah and made all the nations drink to whom Yahuwah had sent me, namely Jerusalem and the cities of Yehuda and its sovereigns, its heads, to make them a ruin, an object of astonishment, a hissing and a curse as it is this day. Pharaoh, sovereign of Mitzrayim, and his servants and his heads, and all his people, and all the mixed multitude, and all the sovereigns of the land of Uts, and all the sovereigns of the land of the Philistines, even Ashkelon, and Azah, and Ekron, and the remnant of Ashdod, Edom, and Moab, and the children of Ammon, and all the sovereigns of Zor, and all the sovereigns of Zidon, and the sovereigns of the coastlands which are beyond the sea, Dedan, and Tima, and Buz, and all who are in the farthest corners, and all the sovereigns of Arabia, and all the sovereigns of the mixed multitude who dwell in the wilderness, and all the sovereigns of Zimri, and all the sovereigns of Elam, and all the sovereigns of the Medes, and all the sovereigns of the north far and near, one with another, and all the reins of the earth which are on the face of the ground. Also the sovereign of Shishak shall drink after them. And you shall say to them, Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, Drink! Be drunk and vomit, fall and rise no more because of the sword which I am sending among you. And it shall be when they refuse to take the cup from your hand to drink, then you shall say to them, Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, you shall drink. For look, I am beginning to bring evil upon the city which is called by my name. And should not you be entirely unpunished? You are not going unpunished, for I am calling for a sword on all the inhabitants of the earth, declares Yahuwah of hosts. And you shall prophesy against them all these words and say to them, Yahuwah roars from on high 
and utters his voice from his set-apart dwelling place. He roars mightily over his fold, a shout as those who tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. Tumult shall come to the ends of the earth, for Yahuwah has a controversy with the nations. He shall enter into judgment with all flesh. The wrong he shall give to the sword, declares Yahuwah. Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, See, evil is going forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind is raised up from the farthest parts of the earth. And in that day the slain of Yahuwah shall be from one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented or gathered or buried, for they are dung on the face of the ground. Howl, you shepherds, and cry, and roll yourselves in the ashes, you leaders of the flocks. For the days of your slaughter and your scatterings are completed, and you shall fall like a choice vessel, and a place of refuge shall perish from the shepherds and escape from the leaders of the flock. Hear the cry of the shepherds and a wailing of the leaders of the flock, for Yahuwah is ravaging their pasture. And the pastures of peace shall be cut down because of the burning displeasure of Yahuwah. Like a lion he shall leave his hiding place, for their land shall become a waste because of the sword of oppressors and because of his burning displeasure. Chapter 26 In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, the son of Yoshiyahu, the sovereign of Yehuda. This word came from Yahuwah, saying, Thus said Yahuwah, Stand in the courtyard of the house of Yahuwah, and speak to all the cities of Yehuda, which come to bow themselves in the house of Yahuwah, and all the words that I command you to speak to them. Do not diminish a word. If so be that they listen and each turn from his evil way, then I shall repent of the evil that I plan to do to them because of the evil of their deeds. And you shall say to them, Thus said Yahuwah, If you do not listen to me, to walk in my Torah which I set before you, to listen to the words of my servants the prophets I am sending you, even rising up early and sending them, though you have not listened, then I shall make this house like Shiloh, and make this city a curse to all the nations of the earth. And the priests and the prophets and all the people heard Yermiyahu speaking these words in the house of Yahuwah. And it came to be when Yermiyahu had ended speaking all that Yahuwah had commanded him to speak to all the people, that the priests and the prophets and all the people seized him, saying, You shall certainly die. Why have you prophesied in the name of Yahuwah, saying, This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city be dried up without inhabitant? And all the people were gathered against Yermiyahu in the house of Yahuwah, and the heads of Yehuda heard this, and they came up from the sovereign's house to the house of Yahuwah, and sat down in the entrance of the new gate of the house of Yahuwah. And the priests and the prophets spoke to the heads and all the people, saying, A death sentence for this man, for he has prophesied against this city as you have heard with your ears. And Yeremiah spoke to all the heads and all the people, saying, Yahuwah sent me to prophesy against this house, and against this city with all the words you heard. And now make good your ways and your deeds, and obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim. Then Yahuwah shall relent concerning the evil he has pronounced against you. And I, look, I am in your hand. Do with me as seems good and right to you. But know for certain that if you put me to death, you are bringing innocent blood on yourselves, and on this city, and on its inhabitants." For truly Yahuwah has sent me to you to speak all these words in your hearing. Then the heads and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, No death sentence for this man, for he has spoken to us in the name of Yahuwah our Elohim. And some of the elders of the land rose up and spoke to all the assembly of the people, saying, Micaiah of Morasheth prophesied in the days of Hezekiah, the sovereign of Yehuda, And he spoke to all the people of Yehuda, saying, Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, Zion shall become a plowed field, and Yerushalayim be heaps, and the mountain of the house like the bare hills of the forest. Did Hezekiah, sovereign of Yehuda, and all Yehuda indeed put him to death? Did he not fear Yahuwah, and seek the favor of Yahuwah? And the master relented concerning the evil which he had pronounced against them. But we are doing great evil against ourselves. 
There was, however, a man who prophesied in the name of Yahuwah, Uriyahu, the son of Shemiyahu of Kiriath Yearim, who prophesied against this city and against this land according to all the words of Yeremiyahu. And when Jehoiakim the sovereign with all his mighty men and all the heads heard his words, the sovereign sought to put him to death. But Uriyahu heard of it and was afraid and fled and went to Mitzrayim. Then Jehoiakim the sovereign sent men to Mitzrayim, El Nathan, the son of Akbor, and some men who went with him to Mitzrayim. And they brought Uriyahu from Mitzrayim and brought him to Jehoiakim the sovereign, who struck him with the sword and threw his dead body into the burial sites of the common people. However, the hand of Ahikam, son of Shaphan, was with Yeremiahu, so as not to give him into the hand of the people to put him to death. Chapter 27 In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Yoshiahu, the sovereign of Yehuda, this word came to Jeremiah from Yahuwah, saying, This is what Yahuwah said to me, Make for yourself bands and yokes, then you shall put them on your neck, and shall send them to the sovereign of Edom, and the sovereign of Moab, and the sovereign of the Ammonites, and the sovereign of Zor, and the sovereign of Zidon, by the hand of the messengers who come to Jerusalem, to Zedekiahu, the sovereign of Yehuda, And you shall command them to say to their masters, Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, Say this to your masters, I have made the earth, the man and the beast that are on the face of the earth, by my great power and by my outstretched arm, and I shall give it to whom it seemed right in my eyes. And now I have given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the sovereign of Babel, my servant, and the beasts of the field, I have also given him to serve him. And all the nations shall serve him and his son and his son's son until the time of his land comes. And then many nations and great sovereigns shall make him serve them. And it shall be the nation and the reign that do not serve Nebuchadnezzar, the sovereign of Babel, and the one that does not put its neck under the yoke of the sovereign of Babel, that nation I shall punish, declares Yahuwah with the sword and the scarcity of food and the pestilence until I have consumed them by his hand. So do not listen to your prophets or to your diviners or to your dreamers or to your observers of clouds or your sorcerers who speak to you saying, Do not serve the sovereign of Babel, for they are prophesying falsehood to you to remove you far from your land. And I shall drive you out and you shall perish but the nation that brings their necks under the yoke of the sovereign of Babel and serve him, I shall leave in their own land, declares Yahuwah, and they shall till it and dwell in it. And I spoke to Zedekiah, the sovereign of Yehuda, according to all these words, saying, Bring your necks under the yoke of the sovereign of Babel and serve him and his people and live. Why should you die? You and your people by the sword, by the scarcity of food, and by the pestilence, as Yahuwah has spoken against the nation that does not serve the sovereign of Babel. Do not listen to the words of the prophets who speak to you, saying, Do not serve the sovereign of Babel, for they prophesy falsehood to you. For I have not sent them, declares Yahuwah, yet they prophesy falsehood in my name, in order that I drive you out. Then you shall perish, you and the prophets who prophesy to you. Then I spoke to the priests and to all this people, saying, Thus said Yahuwah, Do not listen to the words of your prophets, who are prophesying to you, saying, See, the vessels of the house of Yahuwah are brought back from Babel, soon now, for they prophesy falsehood to you. Do not listen to them. Serve the sovereign of Babel and live. Why should this city become a ruin? But if they are prophets, and if the word of Yahuwah is with them, then let them make intercession to Yahuwah of hosts that the vessels which are left in the house of Yahuwah and in the house of the sovereign of Yahuda and at Jerusalem shall not go to Babel. For thus said Yahuwah of hosts concerning the columns and concerning the sea and concerning the stands and concerning the remainder of the vessels which are left in this city, which Nebuchadnezzar the sovereign did not take when he exiled Yekoniah, the son of Jehoiakim, the sovereign of Yehuda, from Jerusalem to Babel, and all the nobles of Yehuda and Jerusalem, 
Thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Yisrael, concerning the vessels that remain in the house of Yahuwah and in the house of the sovereign of Yehuda and of Yerushalayim. They shall be brought to Babel and be there until the day that I visit them, declares Yahuwah. Then I shall bring them back and restore them to this place. Chapter 28 and it came to be in that year, at the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, sovereign of Yehuda, in the fourth year and in the fifth new moon, that Hananiah, son of Azur the prophet, who was from Gibbon, spoke to me in the house of Yahuwah in the presence of the priests and of all the people, saying, Thus spoke Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, saying, I have broken the yoke of the sovereign of Babel. Within two years I am going to bring back to this place all the vessels of the house of Yahuwah, that Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, removed from this place and took to Babel. And I am going to bring back to this place Yekoniah, son of Jehoiakim, sovereign of Yehuda, with all the exiles of Yehuda who went to Babel, declares Yahuwah, for I am going to break the yoke of the sovereign of Babel. Then the prophet Jeremiah spoke to the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and in the presence of all the people who stood in the house of Yahuwah. And the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen! Yahuwah do so! Yahuwah, establish your words which you have prophesied to bring back the vessels of the house of Yahuwah and all the exiles from Babel to this place. Only hear now this word that I speak in your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. The prophets who have been before me and before you of old prophesied against many lands and great rains of battle and of evil and of pestilence the prophet who prophesies of peace when the word of the prophet comes to pass, that prophet is known as one whom Yahuwah has truly sent. And Hananiah the prophet took the yoke off the prophet Jeremiah's neck and broke it. And Hananiah spoke in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus said Yahuwah, So I shall break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, from the neck of the nations within two years. And the prophet Jeremiah went his way. And the word of Yahuwah came to Jeremiah after Hananiah the prophet had broken the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Go and speak to Hananiah, saying, Thus said Yahuwah, You have broken the yokes of wood, but you shall make yokes of iron instead. For thus said Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron on the neck of all these nations to serve Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, and they shall serve him. And I have also given him the beasts of the field. And the prophet Jeremiah said to Hananiah the prophet, Listen, please, Hananiah. Yahuwah has not sent you, but you have made this people trust in falsehood. Therefore thus said Yahuwah, See, I am sending you away from the face of the earth. This year you shall die, for you have spoken apostasy against Yahuwah. And Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh New Moon.